Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these garden flowers earrings. I'm showing them step by step and I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell because I make new content usually twice a week and you will be inspired often with similar tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions, guys. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, other useful resources and a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 OC beads. These are earring findings. This is Nymon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 10 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 12 red beads. And I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I make it as always, make a loop and go twice through the loop I've made, then pull and then make one more knot, just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, I have this. Then in my next step, what I'm going to do is go in the next two red beads. And I'm going to take the following sequence, one red, three orange and one red beads. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I will skip this one in the middle and I will go in the following, okay, exiting out of this one, I'm going in the following. And after that I pull. Here is what I have. Then again the same sequence, one red, three orange and one red. I don't go through the one that's on my way, but I go through the following bead. Same sequence. Again skip one, go through the following. The same thing. And at my last step, guys. I go through this bead, which is the very first bead where I started the whole row from and I go through it. Now this is what I have. Now what I want to do is go through two beads in this direction, through the red and through the orange. And I take an orange, three yellows and an orange. And as I'm exiting from this orange after the red, I'm not going through the central one, which is sticking out the most, but I go through the following orange. Now I have this. In my next step, I'm going through the first of those three orange beads that are on my way. Then again, orange, three yellows, orange. 
go in the third orange. I have this. Then go directly through this orange here. First of the three that are coming on my way. Then the same sequence. And now you could go through the third orange and also here through the first just to save time, just to save one movement after that. And I go like this. And the same thing. Okay, and now what I do is absolutely the same thing. And go here through the first orange, don't make the mistake to go through the second orange. You see, first orange after the reds. And here at this step, pay attention, when I pull, it goes a little bit to the center of my work, everything. Okay, now this is what I have. Okay guys, and in my next step, what I want to do is go through this orange and this yellow bit. And I'm taking a yellow, three whites and a yellow. And I go here in the next two beads. And I pull. Then in my next step, I'm going again in this orange and in this yellow and I pull a yellow, three whites and a yellow and as I'm exiting from one of the yellows I skip the following and I go through the third one And then I go through the orange and the yellow from my next petal. Then again, a yellow, three whites and a yellow. Skip one, go through the following. orange and yellow okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row
Okay guys, and as I finished my row, I have this. Now in my next step, what I want to do is go in this direction and I want to exit after these three white beads and the next yellow. Then I take just one orange bead and go here in the second yellow counting from the center. Then again I want to go through all of the three white beads and the following yellow. If you want you could do this in one movement or in two or more the way it's easier for you. One orange go here in this direction the same way Okay guys, and this is what I have now. And what I'm going to do next is go in this direction through some beads. And I want to exit here at the inner circle of beads of the 12 beads that I started my row with. You see how cool it looks, let me show you. Okay guys, and in my next step what I want to take are 7 green beads, dark green, because I have a light green as well. Okay, I'm sliding those down and now what I want to do is go through the opposite red bead of this circle of 12 and how I find the opposite I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I go through the 6th one here. Okay, go through the 6th one. This is what I have. Then in my next step guys what I want to do is go here through three beads. Okay. Then I take three green beads and I go here through the middle one of these seven. So here from this side I have three, from the other side I also have three, and I'm going in the middle one. Then I want to take three and here you see I have three beads uh, between the beads where these greens uh, go. So I want to go in the middle of this tree, the middle one of this tree. So from each side I have one next to where my green rows are. Then I go in this direction and I want to exit here through these three greens and then in the middle green part here. Okay, now this is what I have 
and in my next step guys I want to take 20 green beads okay 20 of those and I want to slide those down like this then I'm taking my earring finding here and I count one two three four five beads and I go through the sixth one here okay here are five you see and then I pull I pull tight and now this is what I have so in my next step I want to go through four more beads in this direction okay and I'm here then I take two white green beads I go back through this green here then in my next step I go through one of those two newly added greens and I take two more light green beads and I go back again in this direction And after that I take three green beads and I go one more time to this side then here through this one that is that I started the whole row from the whole leaf from take four beads and go here okay then four beads again and I go here through this central one okay and I have my first green leaf ready okay and I will make another leaf like this and in order to do this I want to go through five more beads two light greens and I went back in circle through this one two whites again and two more and what I'm doing here guys is called herringbone stitch okay and I take three dark green beads I go back in circle through these light greens then I go here in the central one and take four dark greens and I go here again pulling a little bit and like this four again go in this direction then I go just before the last seed bead here take one bead and go in the central one 
okay now I have this and in your next step guys you could go up and down reinforcing your work and then make a knot and cut your thread okay I'll do the reinforcement of camera because I don't want to bore you and I'll be back to show you the knot okay guys and off camera I went to this direction reinforced my work and then I went back at one place I used my pliers okay now what I want to do is to find a place to make a knot let's say I'll make it here between the red and the green part of my work I make here a loop I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made I pull then what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and here I'm going to cut my thread and now guys my garden flower earring is ready okay guys and now my garden flowers earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often thank to all of you that like share and comment this is a great and amazing support and i can't thank you enough guys for these actions you could also check description for useful resources full list of materials and there you will find a link to the membership it comes with perks that you could check in description now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching